Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're getting our first impressions of the brand new album from Igor titled Spirituality and Distortion. Alright, so Igor is dropping an album today and we're gonna check it out. Um, we reacted to two of his singles, Very Noise and Parpang. Both of them pretty cool. I really, really like Parpang. It was really cool. Corpse Grinders on that track. He's actually on Very Noise as well. It's a, the end. It's actually a, a section of Parpang that's just put at the end of Very Noise, which yeah. is kind of weird, but weird doesn't really scratch the surface of describing Igor's music. Yeah, he's got a very unique style. Um, a lot of people call it like breakcore, or he's like avant-garde kind of. I would say avant-garde experimental. It's avant-garde experimental for sure, but a lot of I see breakcore, you know, that's kind of like, I guess, his own like, Genre, or maybe there's a very, very, very niche, niche subgenre of breakcore. I don't know. Either way, I'm looking forward to this album and what it's gonna sound like. I hope it impresses me. I hope I enjoy it. We're gonna listen to it for the first time in its entirety. Stay put. All right, guys, we're back. We just listened to Spirituality and Distortion for the first time in its entirety. This album felt like it was super long, but it's actually under an hour. It is 14 tracks. Um, the longest track being about seven minutes long. Mm -hmm. Everything else hovers around the three to four minute mark, our average. Um, but it felt like a long album because there's so much going on. Oh, These songs are super busy. They are wild and crazy and just adventurous. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of different instruments, accordions and violas and maybe some horns here and there and lots of keyboard and lots of techie stuff. All kinds of Anything. stuff. So, the album starts off, and I'm digging it right away. Okay, the first track, Downgrade Desert, starts off really cool. Has this Arabian sound to it. Really cool. Um, the tempo was pretty good. Um, had some cool patterns here and there. Some nice quads on the kick drum. Uh, we both talked about the drumming throughout the first couple tracks. Thought that they were a highlight. Um, lots of cool stuff. Second song, Nervous Waltz. Um, a lot going on. The transitions in the song are very smooth. I'm just kind of looking at my notes and trying to remember stuff. I wrote good use of violin. The drums are a highlight again. Guitar tone's really cool. Both those songs very strong. Then it starts to dip for me a little bit. Very Noise and Hollow Tree were like, okay. Very Noise I've heard before, obviously. Um, but these were kind of just low points. Camel Dance Floor picks it up again. That song has got some cool elements to it. It sounds like a song that's performed with just random objects in the kitchen. Like this guy just pulled a <laughs> bunch of stuff out of his cupboards and a bunch of stuff out of his drawers and stuff like that and just started hitting cans and hitting bottles. And Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if that was actually the case because yeah. Igor likes to sample the weirdest things. But it sounds good. There's some Bollywood overtones in this song, which is also cool. I like that. I like those kind of unique aspects to music. Um, the third act of this song gets pretty nasty. Uh, it just kind of just throws down a bit. Really like that. Parpang was the next song. I already said at the beginning of the video, I like that song. It's, I liked it just as much listening to it again. Corpse Grinder sounds great. The blast beats are nice. Um, the, the hardness of this song is very appealing to me. And it's really cool that the 8-bit the part in the middle retains the same energy. It does, but I'm gonna say that that part actually subtracts from the song for me. I don't think it does the song justice. I don't think it does the song any favors, but I don't dislike the song because of it. I just wish it maybe wasn't there, but maybe I'll get used to it, but it is what it is. Um, after that, the album goes on a bit of a lull for me. Okay, so there's a, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but the next four songs after that are a bit of a dud. Until track 11, Paranoid Bulldozer Italiano. This is my highest rated track. The build up to this song is fucking rad. The riffs are dope, the vocals are dope, the grooves are dope. The double bass with this alternate picking on top of it is fucking rad during some of the grooves. The female, okay, there's this, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, coronavirus. There's, <laughs> there's, sorry. Um, there's this thing that like almost every song did where they play a bunch of music, blah, 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 and then all of a sudden this operatic singing would kick in, usually during the bridge part or whatever. I was getting a little bit bored of that. It's usually male or female, or both of them harmonized. In this song specifically, the female opera singer kicks in during the bridge. 
uh, I was like, oh, I was ruining the best song in the album. Oh no, didn't last too long. It is what it is, whatever. Um, I also wrote, it was cool how the snare fades in and out during the outro. I wrote that note, but I can't remember exactly why I wrote that or what was actually happening. So I'm gonna have to go back and listen to it again. But either way, the snare apparently fades in and out during the outro and I thought it was cool. With that said, um, after that too, the, the next three tracks were also duds in my opinion. But that's, I guess, enough for me. Go ahead. Well, this album um, had a lot going with it. And one thing I really liked about this album, it was the general theme. The last album had a very, it was centered around classical music. And the operatic singing in which you mentioned was actually a lot more utilized on Savage Sinusoid than this one. And I, I didn't mind that at all on this album until a certain point, and that was track number 12, Morocco Satani, or Satan, whatever. That song, I feel like, did not add anything. A lot of the songs in this album add something new to the table, and that's just kind of the thing with Igor's music, is that very creative, lots of different things constantly happening, every song has its own individual thing. But this song feels like everything in that song is stuff you've probably already heard on this album. Mm. So that's really, honestly, the kind of lowest point for the album for me. That being said, the creativity of this album is fantastic, and I really love how tight this guy's band is. Mm -hmm. Just the, dr the drums are probably the biggest highlight just because of how creative he implements fills, yeah. and just how tight he is with the bass, and just how heavy that is. Parpang is my highest rated track on the album. That song slays. Fucking crazy ass song, nasty. The lyrics are badass. Corpse Grinder sounds great. And like I said earlier, I really think the 8 bit part retains the same energy that was brought from the band in the early half of the song. So just totally sick, awesome song. Yep. But um, there was a lot of songs on this album that I kept writing the note. This sounds like an awesome jam, awesome jam, awesome jam, including Camel Dance Floor, track number nine, Lost in Introspection. It felt like a really cool jam, but really eerie and spooky overtones with the symphonic stuff going on, and I really liked that. And the ending was funny, with the keyboard player just smashing his keyboard. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I noted that as well. There's a lot of moments in the album that it's just kind of silly and goofy, which is to be expected with this kind of music. Um, what was it? Musette Maximum, track number seven. To me, felt like a sequel to Cheval, which is a track from Savage Sinusoid, which was similar. It had a jam going on with this accordion going nuts. And uh, that was kind of an issue I kind of had, yeah. is that it's like, okay, this is almost the same thing as a song that was on the last album. You know, like, why just do that song again? Especially when later on, I think in... What song was it? The, the accordion comes back in another song, Came back a couple times actually. And I liked it more in the further uses than I did in, in this track specifically. I also yeah. really like. Music Maximum sounded like old time sitcom music to me. <laughs> you could just see like some slapstick like, people fighting. Yeah, or like some I Love Lucy type of. I don't know. I was just getting some old black and white sitcom type of music, visualizing. I don't know. I could see it. I also thought Himalaya Massive Ritual was a pretty cool song, and I feel like the composition of that song is more akin to songs that would be 10 plus minutes in length. Like the yeah. way that that song was put together and constructed with it introducing themes, having a big open area in the middle, and then coming back and bringing those themes back. But it's all, it's just a seven minute song. It's the longest track on the album. Yeah. But the way that it starts, I literally wrote, Inhuman Feet on the drums. This guy is playing really, really fast on his feet. Yeah. Super duper impressive. Um, that's one, That's a song that starts off a lot stronger in my opinion than it ends. Not necessarily just beginning and outro, but the first half of the song, I felt like I was really into it and digging it a lot based on my notes. In the second half, um, it wasn't really doing that much for me. So that's a bit of a shame. It kind of got a hat, like I gave it a five because it's one of those songs I wasn't really sure how I felt about it at the end of the, listening to it. But I think going back to listen to that song, I think that's going to grow on me. Yeah, for sure. I think one of the biggest things about listening to this song or to this album over the week is that a lot of songs are going to grow because there's just so much to unpack in every song. Based yeah. on one listen, you can't really definitively give your opinions on songs like these because there's just so much happening. No. Exactly, and that's why we do this channel like we do with the first impressions now, and we're going to listen to this album all week long, and we'll be back next week to give you guys our full and final review of this album, 
So leave your comments below. Let us know what you guys think of this album. Like this video if you liked it. Comment, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later.